Okay, so you've got the first card of Gemini here. So this is you in your own element, finding your balance. Maybe you've made a really good friend who is, um, you know, on the same page as you and you'll get along like a house on fire. Uh, this is also, you know, a card about speak, you know, uh, it talks about not um, divulging a lot of secrets to people. So keep your own ideas and your own uh, thoughts to yourself. Uh, you might have some brilliant ideas, and there could also be, um, you know, the possibility of people stealing your ideas. So make sure that, you know, you're keeping uh, your, um, your ingenuity to yourself. So you've got uh, this card about, uh, you know, taking off and uh, making big changes. Uh, you've got a lot of focus here with this Mars in um, Aries, where things are starting to move and you're coming into your own again. So getting a lot of power, uh, focusing a lot on yourself and, uh, you know, getting um, through any kind of obstacles and problems. You've got a volcano in the back. So, uh, you know, some kind of incident has happened in your life that has caused you to make big decisions and big changes in your life. And now you're moving forward. There's a lot of uh, ingenuity as well over here. You've got um, Aquarius here, which is the card of, you know, new beginnings. Uranus is coming back into um, uh, Taurus here. Uh, so and Uranus uh, rules um, um, Aquarius. So this brings in big changes, uh, you know, big uh, events coming in. So, uh, you know, you are uh, responding to that by making, uh, it's allowing you to move forward. Um, you know, quite quickly. So things are not at a standstill right now. Uh, things are starting to move for you. So you've been facing a lot of obstacles. You, know, you can see jumping through a lot of hoops. Uh, you know, maybe people have made a lot of demands for you, but you've been, um, you know, uh, displaying uh, that you are quite capable of handling um, difficult situations and, you know, coming out on top, uh, getting through a, a lot of, overcoming a lot of obstacles here. So in the past, it's about uh, it's been about focusing on your on your work, getting yourself organized, uh, you know, making sure that you are, um, you know, um, you might be taking a leadership role over here. And this is all being divinely guided. This is about work and this is about enjoying everything uh, that you're doing and a lot of abundance coming in as well over here. But it has taken a lot of hard work. And this has meant that, you know, you needed to find like a new philosophy in life, a new uh, direction, a new path. And there's some kind of uh, information that has come that has been very enlightening. Uh, you've been spending a lot of time by yourself, though, it seems, uh, you know, contemplating about what has been going on and what you want to do. So maybe making some future plans, and that's been going on in the past. So in the future, is a big change coming in over here. You've got this heron taking off. Uh, so, you know, your plans are starting to uh, manifest themselves. You're leaving the old behind. You might be moving away from home or moving away from an old, you know, um, um, some kind of established um, a relationship that you were in and you're, you know, um, you're spreading your wings, if you like. So you're taking off and, and getting things done. So there's a lot of change that has come into your life here. And now you are also worrying about money as well and, um, you know, making sure uh, you need to make sure that you don't overspend um, uh, finances there. Make sure that you are watching how you're spending your money. So, um, you know, you, you need to tighten your belt a little bit over there and save some money. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm using the cat black tarot. This is the golden tarot um, to do the main read. This is a really beautiful tarot. It's got a Renaissance theme to it, and it's very, very... Um, well, it's rather beautiful. <laughs> it's got some beautiful imagery on it. A very opulent deck is what I was going to say. Okay, so let's see what it's got to say. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of anxiety that you're dealing with at the moment. Maybe not sleeping well. You can see this person's wide awake, uh, you know, um, expecting the worst case scenario to happen. So you're you're uh, you're just you're stressing out about something, some kind of important, maybe important decision that you have to make. But certainly, you know, it's giving you um, uh, sleepless nights. Uh, so you're very worried about something at the moment. Let's see what it is. So you've got uh, the high priestess over here. So this is about. Uh, learning, studying, uh, you know, um, it's also about secrets, uh, things not being revealed to you. So there's some kind of information that is being kept from you or being hidden from you. And maybe you're also, 
you know, you could be writing exams, and this could be an exam stress that you're going through because the queen, uh, the the high priestess is about, you know, uh, she holds the keys of knowledge, and uh, you know, you could be, um, and she spends a lot of time by herself. So this could be an exam situation that you're um, stressing on about. Maybe you're ha writing exams, um, and this is worrying you at the moment. So you've got the eight of wands over here. Things starting to move off, uh, and things starting to take off. So uh, you having to do a lot of things as well. So handling a lot of tasks, having a lot of handling a lot of information. So, you know, the Eight of Wands is about information and it looks like maybe you are involved in some kind of uh, exam situation and you're worried about it or, you know, some kind of further study. But all in all, things starting to move for you um, and there's a lot of exchange of information, communicating with a lot of people or handling a lot of information and being really busy at doing it as well. So in the past, you've got uh, the Six of Wands over here. So they ha you have been able to overcome a lot of problems that you've been facing, and you've been quite victorious. I mean, it's been quite a struggle, but you have ma managed to overcome it. And you've got the Strength card over here. So being, uh, you know, um, you're developing uh, quite a strength of character over here, uh, and you've been sorting through things. You could also have been dealing with a Leo uh, person over here in this particular scenario, maybe somebody that you helped or helped you out um, uh, definitely, um, you know, uh, you have overcome uh, a lot of uh, a lot of problems, and you have been very victorious in overcoming these problems, and it's made you, you know, very bold and very confident as well. So the Hermit card is about studying, about spending a lot of time focusing on uh, learning, because it's a card ruled by Virgo, so it's about either work or learning or information or discovering things, uh, finding hidden secrets. So this whole stress could be well about studying and learning and exams and, um, you know, uh, performing in uh, some kind of assessment. Um, and it looks like that's where you've been at and you've been spending a lot of time, uh, you know, and it's been stressing you out and it also means that you're not getting a lot of sleep and it also means that, you know, you are spending a lot of time by yourself, uh, you know, trying to discover all these hidden secrets or or trying to learn this knowledge. Now, you've got the Six of Cups over here. So, uh, you know, this is um, really getting over things. Um, with the Six of Cups, it's, you know, kind of offers being made to you that are going to be really beneficial to you. Um, it's also about learning. You can see this child's learning over here. So, you know, maybe you've gone back to school and you're back into that phase about learning, um, uh, you know, new things. And, you know, all this enlightenment coming to you. The cups also signifies uh, information, uh, knowledge coming in for you. So you're spending a lot of time with your books, it seems. So, and you're investing a lot in it because you want this, uh, whatever you're doing, because this is a card that deals with you, uh, spending a lot of time investing in it. You're putting a lot of effort and energy into whatever uh, you're doing whatever course you're doing because you know that in the eventually it's going to reap a lot of rewards so you are very focused on uh investing in it because it's going to bring some rewards for the future now you've got the nine of wands and this is you know in this might be your final exam that you're writing uh because this is the final uh rod the final obstacle that you have to overcome you're pretty tired stressed out uh you know uh, not getting enough sleep but you know that, you know, once you get through this problem, get through this situation, there's a lot of stability that comes in and, you know, you can uh, achieve a lot of goals with it. So this is a card about hanging in there. Uh, you know, the weary warrior, uh, you need to just keep going and persevere and you will overcome this or uh, whatever you're going through at the moment. Now, after this, you it looks like you want to focus on your work. So whatever you're doing now is so that you can get yourself on a good career path and, you know, you're willing to work pretty hard to get it. So whatever you're doing at the moment, it's about studying, it's about achievement and it's about, you know, acknowledge. So maybe it is, you know, trying to get some kind of higher education, um, get some kind of skills, um, skill set uh, enhanced, uh, maybe some kind of degree that you're doing, uh, and you know this has all caused a lot of stress. So it, it seems a lot about everything seems to be about learning so far. Now you've got the page of coins, so it looks like you know you'll be very successful at whatever the outcome. The outcome is going to be quite successful because you've got the page of coins over here. So this is a new job offer coming in over here. This could also be you know more studying coming in. So maybe you want to further on uh, carry on because you've got the book over here. The page of coins is about something you know maybe you're doing something that involves uh, learning about managing money. This is also this could be a new job offer coming in. This could be new contracts for a new job been coming in but it comes in the form of some kind of message so it looks like you know they're still continuing studying or continuing learning over here but also now being able to work and 
uh, learn at the same time. So, you know, it's almost like you graduate and then you go and start uh, learning a bit more to enhance your, um, um, your skills after you have graduated. Uh, so still learning on the job, but also some kind of offer. There's also a, a, a card about focusing on money. It's focusing on um, uh, education um, or uh, any kind of knowledge to do with you know money management as well. And like I said, it could well be a job offer that's coming in for you. Then you've got the Ace of Coins. So this looks like you know, you're going to get some kind of message about a job offer. And with the Ace of Coins, it's starting a new job over here. So uh, it looks like you know, where your focus is going to be on that. So whatever you're going through at the moment, it's so that you can get this new offer or this new job. Uh, it might involve some further studying, but there is a new job uh, offer being made to you. And um, you know, this is uh, about working uh, this could be a second job. This is about handling your finances, or this is about finding that balance in your work life as well. So, and it's also focusing on your work as well. So, this new job offer that comes in, or this new money that comes in, means that you're going to be focusing a lot on the work, trying to find that balance um, in your work as well. But uh, you know, these last three cards is all about work and earning money and uh, making um, you know making things happen. This is, uh, you know, they always say this is about, uh, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs, but still managing to get things sorted out. So you might be studying and working at the same time. You know, you have a job inside um, and, uh, you know, you're trying to get a balance between that so that you can focus on the the, the priority uh, that means the most to you. So if it's about studying, then you're going to be, um, you're going to need to prioritize with this two of coins, decide which is most, more important and which one you need to spend more of your time on. So this is trying to time manage as well. So you need to, to have some kind of plan. Uh, good time management is very, very important. But it looks like there's a new job offer coming in and there's some kind of message, some kind of, a kind of offer being made to you. And it's going to come in the form of some kind of message, maybe over the internet or some kind of proposal, job proposal coming in for you. But you will start something new and then you will need to prioritize as well on how you're going to manage your time. So at the moment you're dealing with, uh, you know, studying and maybe writing exams or, you know, maybe qualifying in this particular field. You have invested a lot of time and effort in it and you will get the rewards from it. So you are pretty tired from doing it, <coughs> but it's one last um, hurdle for you to accomplish and it looks like things are going to start moving pretty quickly. So you're dealing with a lot of information at this moment. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the... Um, Angel Tarot, and this is for the Oracle read. So release, it says, the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, and a time to move on. So it looks like the cycle is coming to an end. Whatever you have been dealing with, whatever you've uh, been um, you know, studying, you're now finishing off that particular course, or you're finishing off that particular uh, section of your life, and you're about to move on to something different. A big change coming in with this release card. <coughs> You've got the Eight of Earth, which says skilled work is rewarded. Learning, um, learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school. So it looks like you know even after you finish doing this kind of learning, there is going to be some further learning on it. So you know even though you finish the cycle of learning, something else comes in that is more specialist, and you'll be focusing a lot on that. And money comes in with that, so you'll be earning while you are studying at that particular time. So you've got the Queen of Air over here, and this is objective decision-making, clearing away uh, all that is no longer serving you and seeing the humor of the situation. So you are very determined. The Queen of Air is about the Queen of Swords and being very determined uh, and, you know, um, having, you can see she's very focused on this particular orb over here. So you know exactly what you want within it. This crystal wall there is a horse, so you want to move forward and you're very focused on your career and focused on moving forward and making these big changes in your life. So you're very determined to get uh, to where you need to be. So, um, you know, that's a very, very good place to be. You have uh, Nobody's going to deter you from whatever uh, you want to do and you will be victorious in it. And it says the Queen of Air is independent, experienced, realistic, and witty. So, you know, it's going to be something that brings great rewards. So whatever you're doing now, even though it feels so difficult, it's going to bring in a lot of rewards for you. And it looks like there is going to be further studying for you. Uh, with the Six of Cups, it's almost like there's going to be a lot of options for you to choose. So you're going to do be 
particularly successful at what you do now and that's going to open the door for a lot of options it looks like there's a new job offer or new money coming in there's some sort of uh, change in your financial situation that comes in here uh, you know um, and you learn learning how to prioritize uh, your time uh, and um, all your efforts as well so something new coming in for you as far as money goes or as far as work goes or even as far as you know uh, um, working and earning and learning at the same time some sort of new proposal coming in for you so try not to be too stressed out, uh, you know, go and do some meditation, relax a little bit. Uh, you know, the card below it is the Ten of Wands, which says that all these burdens and difficulties that you've been going through are now coming to an end. And, you know, you're worrying unnecessarily. You will be successful at what you do. So I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now.